All right, so I'm gonna be doing a retake on this um, Asus UX461U. So I'm gonna try replacing the SSD in here. So first we're gonna use a T5 screwdriver. And you just wanna remove all the screws. I try to keep them all in order by putting them like this on my desk, all right, in the pattern that I remove it. So you see four across, just like that, and then you see two, and then you see four more. So I just put them in that layout, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, take all the screws out. All right. <clears throat> um, the screws towards the back middle are shorter than the rest. But again, I like to put it in the layout so that way I can put back the same screws exactly where I got them, just in case there's screws that are different even though they look very similar, right? Then the front screws are short as well. Okay. All right, once we get all the screws out, we're going to use a suction cup to help pull the cover off. All right. Okay, just take the suction cup, stick it down on this corner here, and then hold down the bottom part of the palm rest while you kind of pull up the suction cup, and just like that can see the cover comes out all right once you get that you can kind of wiggle it around just like this the back kind of will be stuck sometimes it doesn't come out too easy but there we go all right we'll set the cover aside looks just like this all right so there's an SSD under here so we're gonna take that out it looks like we'll use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove it so we're gonna remove the four screws here okay Again, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. These are pretty short screws. All right. There's this black screw up in this corner. I don't know why the rest are silver. Okay. All right, and we're gonna take out this last screw. If you're wondering, um, no, I didn't take out the battery yet. Usually I only take out the battery if I'm removing the video cable. But if you want to be safe, you can actually remove the battery first. I showed this in another video. You just pop the edges up like that. All right, so I'm going to leave that in. All right, most likely there's some thermal pad here. Yep. Okay, so the thermal pad is actually on the SSD itself. Looks like there's no thermal pad on anywhere else, so that's good. I was worried I was going to have to redo thermal paste. So here you go. All right. Of course, you want to make sure that your computer is off when you're going to replace the SSD. So make sure it's completely off. It's not on at all. Okay. After you do that, we're going to remove the SSD screw. There's one screw here. All right. Once you take that screw out, get underneath the SSD, lift it up slightly, and then pull it back. I hope this supports PCIe NVMe because I cloned this to a PCIe NVMe SSD and I don't see the label here. They covered it with all this stuff. I mean, I can peel it out slowly and check. Let's see if it says. Uh, the connector makes me think it is, okay, it is a SATA. So there's a M.2 SATA SSD, not PCIe NVMe. Um, I guess we're going to find out if it will support PCIe NVMe or not. So this is a PCIe NVMe SSD that I cloned um, the SATA SSD to. So we'll see if it supports both. All right, so I'm just gonna put the SSD there and then I'm gonna try powering it on without um, putting that little cover back on. I just wanna see if it's gonna work. All right, so let's power this thing up. Computer's turning on. Let's see if it boots or if it's just gonna not detect a hard drive. So it's booting. So it looks like this computer does support both SATA and PCIe NVMe SSDs. All right, I'm just gonna let it boot up. I cloned the SSD onto the M.2 SATA SSD onto this using Macrium Reflect Free. If you want a link to that, just let me know. I have a link showing how to do that uh, and the cloning process. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna pause this right now. Actually, well, we'll let it run. We'll see what happens. I don't know, oh, so there we go. I guess it doesn't support PCIe NVMe because now it says inaccessible boot device. It could also be just because, um, what do you call? 
It could also be because the SSD, it's different. So, and also when I cloned it, the original drive had um, BitLocker on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a Windows 10 USB installer and I'm going to see if I try and install Windows 10 onto it, if it's actually going to read or not. So the computer thinks it's on. So I'm going to just force shut it off by holding the power button. All right. Once the light turns off, I'm going to let go and turn it back on. Let's see if it will. Oops, okay, I have to hold it longer. So I'll hold it until all these lights go off, and there we go. I'm going to press F2 to go to the boot menu. Oh, why is it trying to stop it? Okay, well, I'll, let the, I'll check if this works, and then I'll be back. I'm going to pause this video for now. All right, so I stopped it. Let's try booting it again, and let's try going into the BIOS. So I'm pressing F2 to go to the BIOS. All right, there we go. And let's see. So it does show the NVMe SSD here. So I'm going to boot from my USB here. So let's go to the boot menu, which is F8, or you can click down there. I guess tapping doesn't work, so let's do F8. All right, and then I'm going to boot from my USB drive, my SanDisk Cruiser. We're going to try and install Windows. I'm going to try a clean install of Windows. This computer was having issues with sleep mode. It wasn't going into sleep mode properly. So I'm going to go ahead and run win the Windows 10 USB installer and just see if it will let me install Windows on top of it. So we'll let this thing boot up. For now, while it's doing that, I can actually put on this metal shield thing. Um, or actually it booted up pretty quick. Okay, so we're gonna go here and then I'm just gonna tab down or I guess I can touch screen next install now All right, so it's gonna take a while Setup is starting. Okay, that might take a while. So let me put the metal plate back on Hopefully it will take long enough that I have enough time to do this Okay, so we'll just take this metal plate Oh, it's already done All right, let's turn this back over I accept, next, custom install, and then we're just going to delete all the partitions that we cloned over. So I'm just going to click each one and click delete. All right, once you do that, you'll have a completely unallocated disk, and then just click next. And it will automatically recreate the part partition and install for you. So it's taking a while right now, so it should be wiping out the drive, and there we go. All right, so I'm going to put back the metal plate. That's how you do the Windows 10 installer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back on. I'm going to have to be a little careful. So let me see if I can do it this way. It might be actually, this thing folds all the way flat. So I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Okay, and usually you don't want to do this while the computer's on, but just if you're going to do this, you want to be super careful. Okay. All right, get the screw. Make sure you don't drop any screws in here because if you do, you're screwed. All right, so get that. All right, there we go. And last screw. All right, I'm just loosely fitting the screws right now to get everything lined up. And then now I'll tighten it down. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't clone the SSD over. I was hoping it would, so that way they would have an exact copy of all their stuff and I wouldn't have to redo everything. But it is what it is, so we got that. All right. And now I'm going to put the cover back on. Okay, it's still installing. I'm going to take the cover, pretty straightforward. Get that in place. And this is just for testing, so I'm not going to put all the screws back in, but you get the point, right? Get everything lined back up. Snap the screws in place. Okay. Make sure you get everything snapped down. All right. This USB port, I don't know why, but the metal's like bent right there. Okay. All right. Just get everything clipped in. There we go. And that's pretty much it. So now Windows is just going to install. I'm going to just set up a test account just to see if it's going to have the same issue with the clean install. And if it doesn't, then the computer's fine and we know for sure it's just a bad software or SSD. Alright, anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe.
share my channel with others so that they can also benefit and fix their own devices. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.